statement the Prime Minister. Our mission is to deliver Brexit for the purpose of uniting and re-energising our great United Kingdom and making this country the greatest place on earth. On his first full day on the job, new British Prime Minister Boris Johnson addressing Parliament and sitting down with his new cabinet, made up of loyal Brexit supporters. Johnson officially took over from Theresa May yesterday, tossing most of her ministers who hadn't already resigned. We are now committed, all of us, to leaving the European Union on October the 31st, or indeed earlier. No ifs, no buts. With less than 100 days to go, the clock is ticking. The EU says their Brexit deal is not up for negotiation. And a no-deal divorce is facing fierce opposition from some British lawmakers who fear that option would cause chaos and drive the world's fifth largest economy into recession. And there's pushback in London from demonstrators yesterday protesting their new PM, who was chosen in a vote by party members, not in a general election. This man's been elected by 100,000 people. 70% of them are white males over the age of 65. They don't represent us. I just don't think he's not interested in finding a solution that is for the benefit of the country. I, he's not a person I can trust. I don't think anybody can trust him. And Johnson, who again just wrapping up his first full day in office, is already expected to face a no-confidence vote called by the opposition Labour Party when Parliament reconvenes in September.